Hey, you need to uh, set these up. These aren't mine, but uh, they're close enough to something. Um, so you set your different your Wi-Fi gateway, which will end up in a one. Then you set your your uh, Wi-Fi DNS, so that'll be your DNS address that the network will see. Then you come down here and you set your uh, SSID of your Wi-Fi network. It could be my Wi-Fi, it could be net, I don't know, something or other. Then the password. You've got the access of putting a second set of uh, Wi-Fi settings if you need to. Um, in my network I've got two, but um, yeah, anyway, maybe three if I really count them. Um, and then you continue down the page. Okay, once you've done with that and you've changed all your usernames and passwords, especially for your MQTT, it's all in the user user file, user.config. You go up here and you save it. So you need to click on the file. Hopefully that takes forever. Here we go again. Sorry about this. We'll pause. Anyway, you just save from the file tab. Okay, you just save from the file tab. Save that file. Okay, that's it. Now. Okay, here's our touch. Here's what I've done. If you look in very closely, if it can focus, you'll be able to see that uh, the brown wire is actually your VCC. The other two wires are your transmit and receive data. And the wire over to the left, which is looking like a yellow wire, is, in this case, it's going to be ground like the green wire. I just didn't have another green wire on my hands. Now what I've done is, all I've done is place these through the board. I haven't sold them, haven't done anything. It'll work like that. You have to remove it from the, the board from here. Then, when you're plugging it in, you need to, and I haven't got a third hand for this, I really need to, oh, hold on, I'm, and we're back. Here we go. We've got the board, we bring it up, we get our pin, which is the earth pin, from the side where I showed you in the first video, and we put it on, if you can see this. This is going to be interesting. I can't zoom in, so it's not number one, it's number two. So on number two, and when you press on number two, you want to be plugging it in at the same time. I know it's not a really great idea, but, and of course, this is going to be fun. So, here we go. And we've plugged it in. Hopefully, it'll be recognised. Anyway, hopefully I can program this thing. I know that the uh, main circuit board is on. I'm not sure whether that's actually picked that up or whether I've stuffed up and I've put it on the wrong one. And I think I have. Because there's nothing coming through. And let's undo it. Let's change these two pins over in the centre. Okay, so we've got this one. Change these two around. Fucking dumbass. Fuck me. Oh, might have to edit that. Apologise for swearing or being rude. I forgot that the recording was on. I'll remove that bit to edit it out. I'm just hoping this is going to work. It did the other day, but I didn't use the didn't use a Mac. I used the uh, Windows box, but it's playing up. So, and it's not 
that thing that's going around that's making it play up. It's actually other things, although I did see a executable box open up the other day, which I didn't think was really a good thing for it. Got no idea if this is actually working or not because it doesn't go beep, which I thought it would. But uh, let's soon work it out. See if it can compile. Something very wrong here. So I could turn that on before. It's almost like this. USB port doesn't really work. So, I'm going to switch these two around again. is close to the ground. XRX Orange. Okay, I've got the TXRX around the right way. So TX is closest to the ground. RX 
is closest to the 3.3 volt VCC. Okay. Now we've got to touch the second pin in and hope that this works. Well, that sounds a lot better. Pretty happy with that. Yep, it's flashing. You see the blue light. If you can have a look at it, you'll see a blue light flashing on the board. If you touch the touch light, it'll, touch, it'll turn on. We don't need that on yet. What we now need to do, let's come around here. I've already done, I've already checked it. So I've checked it with the tick to check if the it would be compilable. And yes, it is. So now I'm going to upload the software and we'll see what happens. So there we go. It's loading. It's a bit slow, but uh, I'll try and s speed it up a little bit. I know that uh, when I watch other people, and I know I'm very slow at this, but a lot of people speed through this stuff and us novices don't really understand what they're talking about. I've got an electronic background, but not a programming background. So it's hard to pick up some things when you get a bit older. Anyway, I'm trying to do this so that people can use different types of software, not the one to uh, upgrade. Um, the last lot of Sonoffs I got, I actually wrote <coughs> part of the code myself and it was only a basic code and I didn't want anyone upgrading it over the air. Oops, there's an error. What's going on there? Error. Took 57 seconds. I wonder what that was. It's continuing though. So it's not a bad thing. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. It's up to almost 100 seconds on the timer. I'd say that the second port on this USB is stuffed um, because it didn't work the first time. Now it's going to uploading firmware. No, it's got an error up again. It's not going to do it. Doesn't look like I'm going to get it done. It's trying again. Anyway, I'll pause it and see how we go. I'll tell you how we went. Other than the uh, program size a bit large, uh, it should work. Anyway, I'll get back to you with it. And this is a quick video and there'll be more coming.